Challenger Ego when the beat goes finito, finito. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. It's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right. Big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. These guys throwing early. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Boom, big jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Got his guard pass. Yeah. 
All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Arts. That's exactly how you do it. Set him up on the feet, promptly put him on his ass. It was beautiful, John. The way he got his, his hands up to defend his head, he level changes, gets to the takedown. Beautiful. Perfection. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got... He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the... And he's out. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Oh, the uppercut is there for him yet again. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two. Up over the top, this fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, this is a man in Conor McGregor who has pulled in any number of different directions, DC, but as you see here, in tremendous shape as usual, always puts in the time and training, despite all of the different demands on his time, still has that reputation as one of the hardest workers in our sport. Oh. A double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Fighters back to their feet here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Tries to work it into a takedown. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Nice loop and punch. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. What a punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, 
straight right. Just out of range with that strike. And Go what a round! All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. with the left hook. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Wow. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly, because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Wild swing there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's you, ever see. you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I now he's masterful from here. Well, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Nice point there. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Nice shot to the body there. 15 seconds to go. Missed with that attempt. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to lead the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of this performance.